What is up guys, Smitty here from Smitty Alien TV and in this video we are going to be talking about our day breaking down a flooded lake on a competition day with almost no practice at all. Okay, so the competition were held at Whitbank Dam and it was around the start of February. There was a lot of water that came in the previous two months. Now I'm talking loads and loads of water, the dam reaching over 100% and then going down and then more water coming in. So the water was brown, it was up, flooded, flooded, flooded completely. I'm talking worst case flooded dam scenario. The competition had a really good turnout. I'm talking 35 boats and uh, unluckily we pulled boat number 33 so we didn't get much of a head start to anyone but uh, we decided let's see where the people are going and then we'll make our choice whether we're going to the river or to the main dam so we saw that like 30 boats went to the main dam only two went to the river so we decided and just give it a chance maybe we get lucky in the river and we can pick up some fish like i mentioned we didn't pre-fish at all i know cj had one practice day in so that obviously did help a lot so we got to our first spot in the river uh, it was near a bridge Nice flooded grass, you know, pitching some top water baits and uh, pitching some Texas rigs and stuff in the grass. Didn't get any fish for about half an hour. We decided let's move out a little bit. And as we started moving out, we saw when Bucks passed us and he weighed a fish. So I knew there was something happening in the river, but we couldn't figure it out. So we decided, you know, we're going to get out of here. I'm not going to turn back now because we saw someone is weighing a fish in here. So we went out further towards the main dam area. And uh, almost every spot that we got to that we had, you know one or two boats were on so that made it really difficult to get an area that we had a lot of confidence in but the previous week when CJ was practicing he found an area in the back of the bay where there was some clean water coming in and obviously when the water is really dirty and stuff the fish like to hold closer to clean water so we knew that we, there, were, there was fish back there because he got some there the previous week and we heard that there was another team that got about 10 to 15 fish there quick in the morning so we, we were heading that way um, even though we saw there was a boat, we decided we'll just fish the main point before we enter the creek and uh, hopefully we can get something there and then hopefully that team moves out and we can move in. But uh, yeah, so we fished that point, got a nice blow up on a top water frog, like very shallow in the grass. Unfortunately, the fish came off. <laughs> That's the thing with top water, you lose some, you get some. But we knew at that stage they were quite shallow and uh, that they were quite active on the top water bite. And that's actually the way the winning team won their competition, Top Water, Dion Rath and Brad. Congrats to them, by the way. But uh, yeah, so after that, we moved into the creek and didn't get any fish at that spot, unfortunately. So that spot was absolutely milked. Like I said, one team got about 15 fish and then the second team that got there, I think they caught two or three fish there, if I'm right. So we gave that a bash for about five, 10 minutes, didn't get anything. And then we decided, let's just move out to another grassy area. You know, obviously, when there's grass and stuff, there's usually more fish to be caught in general uh, than when you're fishing like isolated stuff. When you're fishing the isolated piles and isolated pieces of timber and stuff like that, there's usually maybe one or two fish on it. So we got to another big bay, fished the point, got one on the top water, a little dink on a Petey's Bait Secret Frog. Um, fantastic bait, by the way. You can get some timber fishing tackle if you want to get something nigel. But yeah, we fished that point. Got some on the grass, got one fish on the grass, so we got our first fish, and that was about 12 o'clock. And after that, we had a lot of boat issues, probably for about two and a half hours. And first issue was with the main motor, we couldn't get on the plane because it was like there wasn't any fuel feeding to the, to the engine itself. So CJ managed to fix that for us, I'm very thankful for that. And then we had some more issues. We, our pumps uh, got so stuck with all the grass and uh, we didn't realize it and our aerator, nothing worked and our fish died on us. The one fish we had died on us. But yeah, fast forward through the day, we managed to find a creek, guys. And wow, at the back of this bay, it was absolutely loaded. I mean, we only got our first fish at 12 o'clock and we got back there and CJ got the first one, straight 40 Texas rigged and uh, just pitching it way back there, guys. It was about maybe three, maybe three foot deep and there was a massive boulders back there and the secret was at the back at the back at the back of that creek it was also clean water coming in and no one noticed that so no other teams went back in there but we were the first team in there it wasn't one of our spots actually but all the spots were taken so we were like left with almost nothing so we went back there and luckily it was one of the it was on the same pattern you know clean water at the back coming in in the back of a bay and we managed to get six fish there it was absolutely loaded and a fantastic experience i've never you know, gotten to a back of a creek like that and just loaded up on them like that so that was absolutely fantastic and uh, yeah, we were very happy we didn't have any size at that moment but we had our limits and we knew we got some points on the board 
and that was our that was our goal you know we just wanted to do top 10 for the first one and uh, yeah we knew there was a quite a few strong teams in the, in the circuit so we knew it was going to not be easy although we didn't practice and stuff we were lucky enough we got a ninth place so yeah fast forward again about the last 40 minutes of the day me and cj we decided to you know we got our, our fish, we need to start throwing some big baits to try to see and try if we can get a little bit of a bigger bite. And that's what we did. I picked up a jig from Umbux, fantastic jig, he made them in, himself. Picked it up, first cast with that thing, guys. It was on a rocky point with some reeds. So they were, they were really relating to you know, reeds and rocks, quite shallow if possible. Most of our top water fish as well was around points um, that we got blow-ups on. And there was rock underneath the grass. And then the fish we got in the back of the bay was also a lot of grass. It was a bushy area and a lot of that boulders and rock underneath like I mentioned. So yeah, we got a nice 2.1 or 2.2 kilo on that point with the rock and the reeds with that jig. First cast, like I mentioned, that was an absolute game changer for us. And uh, CJ managed to get another one and we actually doubled up. And in that last 40 minutes, we upgraded three fish. So that really helped us with the 2.1 and then we got uh, two fish. I just called two other smaller ones and uh, yeah that really sealed the deal for us and, and like I mentioned we managed to get a ninth place so that really was a good start for us we were just hoping to make a top 10 and that's what we did <laughs> what really stood out for me in this day was the way the fish move and behave when there's so many flooded water they were super shallow uh, pushing baits up and there's a lot of food in the shallows so they were very, very shallow guys and obviously when the water is so dirty, uh, fish tend to relate a lot more to structure, quite close by. You know, if there's pro uh, a piece of timber there, they'll be really tight up to it, whereas if it's, the water is clean, usually they'll, you know, they'll swim a, a little bit wider around those pieces of structure. So that really taught me, you know, back of bays, clean water when there's a lot of dirty water is a key. So if you can find some clean water when the dams are flooding, um, it's going to be absolutely key and you can usually find these clean water areas in the back of base where there's like a mountain or something up top and there's just water flowing in it doesn't even need to be a lot but if there's clean water coming in it's going to be a game changer so yes there were three patterns that really stood out in this day the one was throwing top water lures in the shallows obviously like i've mentioned the fish push up quite shallow and if you can get that reaction strike going it's going to be fantastic and you can get some really big bites throwing top waters especially around points that we figured out points Top water, grassy shallows, that was one of the big, big patterns. And that is actually the way the winning team won. Top water frogs in the shallows on points. And then the other pattern, like I mentioned, back of base, clean water coming in. If you can get there, you can get some numbers. And then we got our bigger fish on a point to cross and read. So that is the three patterns that really stood out for us. And we managed to capitalize on all of them. We got a top water bite. We did get some fish at the back of the bay, so there was clean water coming in and we managed to get our bigger fish on the point, throwing some bigger baits. It was a really tough competition, guys, but uh, we are quite happy with our results. It's mine and CJ's first time fishing together, so it wasn't a bad day for us and we really enjoyed fishing together. And if you guys enjoyed this type of video, let me know down below. And if you guys want me to break it down even more, please tell me how you guys want me to do that. I will gladly share my knowledge with you guys and I want to teach you guys as much as possible. And I want to share my experience so one day I can look back if I'm fishing flooded body of water and like, ah, oh, that's what worked for me back then. So that's one of the reasons I'm also making this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Remember to like and subscribe and comment down below what you have done in the past fishing flooded bodies of water and what worked for you. Let's all help each other out and learn together. And uh, until the next video, I will see you guys. Next video, we are at Ristavinta Dam. So that's going to be a good one and we also have a competition coming up on the Vol Dam. So stay tuned for some videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.